Hi guys, long time no talk. There's not been too much going on. The rehab has been super duper boring, so I haven't really, and I've also been busy, so I haven't really been up to recording or filming anything. But we are now on the rehab plan, we are now on week six of the rehab, but realistically we're probably on like week four, week five, probably week five actually. So obviously Milo had his kissing spine at the end of April and he has now had the staples out and they came out two weeks after the surgery date and they are currently hidden by his massage pad otherwise I would show you. They came out all like really clean, there was no gunk, no oozing, nothing. He had been really really good for me to put the poltoplast on and change it every like three four days. And there were times when the poltoplast was like lifting because it's essentially like self-adhesive and it was lifting so I was having to like tie a tail bandage around his belly just to try and keep it flat to make it last like an extra day because um, they didn't send me home with too much poltoplast to do it myself. But yeah really happy they stay clean they're healing really well and there's one on like further back um, on his back which is still a bit like bumpy compared to the others and that is just because the ligaments further back are apparently thicker because they're a bit thicker they take a bit longer to heal he's just having a nice yawn <laughs> see i will be speaking to my vet and just saying like hey what's you know is this still okay in terms of what we've been doing so the first two weeks that nah, I had him back after surgery, he is barely at his breakfast today, was just in hand walks and box rest and he was only allowed to walk for about 5 to 10 minutes a day on week 1 and about 10 to 15 on week 2. It was really really boring and him obviously being rising 7 and a thoroughbred, it wasn't going super to plan like I think when he first came back and he was still a bit sore he was fine to walk and then when the sort of novelty of box rest wore off for him he quickly decided no I don't actually want to walk nicely I'm just trying to save this feed of his that he is mixed up and let go dry and let go yucky yeah he was like I don't really want to walk anymore so on one of our walks because what I was trying to do is like walk him in the morning was he decided it would be a very good idea, a very clever idea, for him to rear up. Now, he had been rearing on his walks before, but they weren't like this. Like normally he would do a rear, a rear even, that's my speech impediment. He would rear, I would get annoyed, tell him off, and then he'll kind of settle back down. However, that is not in the case. <laughs> what has happened? Well, what did happen was he got very bored of walking and one morning when I was trying to walk him and get him used to going back up towards where his winter field was so that when he eventually did go back out he would be nice and sensible because oh we just go up here and we just have a graze for a few seconds and then go back in and it's super duper boring he decided that he would rear and he reared to the point he couldn't balance himself and he fell over on his bum went to seven <coughs> fell over on his bum and then promptly rolled onto his side and then got up and galloped off and that was at about quarter to seven in the morning so like the last thing I wanted before starting work for the day was for him to do that I don't know if you can see but he's still got like graze marks from it Oh, it's underneath the pad, but you can kind of see, like, you see those lines, just sort of there. Because he, he landed on this bum, and then he just kind of rolled on. So, yeah. A bit of a pickle, weren't you? So, yeah, that was that morning. That didn't go too well. And that was even before the staples came out. So, at that point, I messed, well, I, I obviously had the staples booked in. And I thought, you know, we're going to keep persevering. So the very next day, I did the same walk again and he was fine because I think he actually scared himself a bit. So when the vet came out to get the staples removed, I did say to him, you know, this happened like a few days ago. Can I restrict his turnout and just get him out of his stable? Because then he'll be a lot calmer for the walks. And, you know, I can fence it off. I can make it really small. Um, and he said, yep, yeah, like staples are out. Give him, you know, a day or two to make sure that they settle and nothing comes out. And then he can go out with a rug on. 
brilliant result. So he went out after two weeks of box rest. On my rehab plan, he was meant to have four, <laughs> but yeah, because he was a bit of a pickle, we couldn't do that. So this is my plan. It is a lovely, see if I can get the second page open with one hand. There we go. Lovely rehab plan in Microsoft Word. Um, that lists absolutely everything to do. It lists, you know, what week we're on, the dates, stabling, routines, feeding, physio, stretches, exercises, any follow-up visits, things like that. So I think it was around about week three, between week three and week four, we, I, we had the physio out for the first time that she's seen him since surgery. And she came in and she was like, oh, you know, um, I was sort of here and she was like, you know, I came in and I've just bought the box in and already he's a bit wary of me. So we're not going to, you know, we're not going to push it. We're going to see what he allows us to do. If we only get 10 minutes, we go only get 10 minutes. Because previously with him, when I had the physio out, he would call it quits after like five minutes. He would get really uncomfortable and he would basically like just keep backing up. He'll get really nippy and just say, you know, I'm not enjoying this. I'm not comfy. So, you know, we would have some appointments where I'd pay, you know, like 45, 50 quid for five minutes because it's not fair on her that my horse is uncomfortable and didn't want to be worked. But that was obviously before surgery. So she came in with that sort of pretense of, you know, we don't know what we're going to be able to do. And thankfully, he was actually really good. And he, we did get a really good session. And she said, you know, his neck has completely relaxed off. His glutes have completely relaxed off. His shoulders have relaxed off. This is all really jock. Tyra, look at that. That Aww. is good. Like, he's not tight. He's not flinching either, is he? No. That's all really, really good. And to be honest, Tyra, his glutes... Again. Nice and spongy. Yeah, how it should be. Because I remember before we had the surgery, she was a bit like, you may want to get his neck x-rayed at the same time because of how tight he is through his neck. Whereas actually we think, you know, maybe now he was just like so tense and rigid in the neck because his back was sore. So all that tension from the pain just had to go somewhere. So yeah, he's been enjoying himself now. Physio was really, really happy with the sort of notable improvement. We're going to keep going with the physio. We have her coming out in over next week or the week after? I think it's next week. Next week, she's coming out again for her second visit post-surgery. And last week, Wednesday, last week, Wednesday, I can't remember the date off the top of my head. Today is the 10th because tomorrow is badminton. Hence, uh, we got the badminton polo on. Last week, Wednesday, we had another trip to the vet where, if you remember, I mentioned he had a tiny bit of arthritis between his T15 and his T16 spinal process and it's right near the bottom where um, the nerves actually run in his spine. That has like the tiniest bit of arthritis so we just wanted to at the week four point get that injected with some steroid injections I think it's just you know cortisone or something and then we can you know up his work again if he's still comfy and it was so so good honestly the last time he had back injections he had to he was obviously sedated and he also, I had to twitch him and I hate twitching horses. If I can avoid it, I will, but I know for some horses you just, you just need to twitch. Managed to get that done and he had a good couple of days off and then le yesterday, so this is Thursday, today is Friday, so yesterday on Thursday, he had his massage therapist come out. The reason why the physio didn't come out now is because of the steroid injections. She wants to give it two weeks before she can come back in and use the Indiba machine on him. Just to really try and get some heat into his muscles and relax everything and get some good work going. So she's coming in next week, but the massage therapist came in yesterday to give him a massage over. She last saw him again before surgery. She said, you know, there's such a notable difference in how relaxed he is and how much more comfy he is. It's now just a case of we need to keep relaxing off his muscles and I think she actually used terms saying that you know he's got the usual like muscle aches it's not you know a muscle ache and soreness because he's got kissing spine anymore which I'm so so happy about like everything's going in the right direction it's to the point where I even this morning contacted my saddle fitter to see about getting a provisional date books in letting her know that you know it is likely that we're gonna have to move it just because of if he's not ready for me to get back on he's not ready like 
and we can move it to the right and we can delay it. But it's just so that we get a date in the diary so that we can have something to work from. So yeah, that has been the week so far. In terms of exercises, because I don't know whether you guys will be interested, but I'll do a quick rundown. So the first two weeks were obviously just in hand walks. Week three, we were starting to do pole work. Um, so that was nothing too extraordinary. It was just poles in a straight line boring only for 10 minutes pause on the ground uh, week four was very much the same but now we could introduce our stretches so we started doing our carrot stretches again though to be fair he's worse than him now i will be honest um i think it's because in his stable i've taken out his treat ball wherever it is there but in the stable i have a lick now because i'm just basically just doing anything to keep his head down for as much as possible so yeah, I think he's just bored of the flavour of it, which is annoying for me, um, but oh well. So yeah, we could walk over poles, and then week five, which was last week, we could start lunging. So we've got a Equiband system that was made by one of the lovely ladies at the yard. You can buy the kits in and attach it to a saddle pad yourself, it's a lot cheaper. So that's what I've got. Apparently the core one is really, really useful. So if you have a horse with kissing spine, or you're wanting to rebuild muscles along the top line, get an equiband system and focus on using the core belly strap more. So what I do now is when we do pole work, he has the equiband system on, but he only has it on the belly. And then when we lunge, he has it on the belly and the butt. Just makes it easier. So yeah, week five, um, we could introduce walk trot on the lunge. So that's about 15 minutes. And it's pretty much the same for this week as well. It's 15 minutes over poles and 15 minutes of lunging. So I'm trying to do three days of poles a week, two days of lunging. So we got lunged on Wednesday. Yesterday he had his massage. Today is pole day. Um, and then tomorrow I'm at badminton. So he's going to have a day off as well. But he'll do poles again on Sunday. So pretty much, much that. I think week seven, they want us to up to three lots of um, lunging a week where we can actually introduce cancer which is going to be really really excited well he's going to be really excited i'm going to be wrecking myself because god knows what he's going to be like and then we are technically according to the rehab schedule only four weeks away from our reassessment before finding out if he can be ridden again which is going to be really exciting but again that is only provisional i'm not going to just follow in the dates on the paper i will be speaking to my physio for what she says and going off of her, if she doesn't think his back is up and up and ready to support, then we're not going to ride. I mean, I've been waiting since November anyway. That's the plan. I'm just going to see if he is actually eating his dinner still. Yeah. Salt's gone. But yeah, a tool that we've just got um, is this. This is my favourite thing. It doesn't have the heat on at the moment because it is really quite warm in here. And I just don't want him to sweat too much. So... I put this on, I'm trying to do it every day, if I can. Every day he'll have it on just to really doubly relax his muscles. If I don't get it on every day now, at least he'll have it on before he gets worked. So yeah, that is the schedule. That's what we've been up to. It's all going in the right way. I'm really, really happy with how he's doing. This is his little stable neighbour, this is Callie. Callie's very friendly. She was at my old yard, so this is my mate's horse. You may have seen him in one of the like older vlogs, Jack. He's that's his horse. So yeah, she's quite smitten with Milo, but only when she's talking to him through the stable bars. If he comes up to her over the door, no, she hates him. <laughs> so yeah, that is pretty much it. We are now going to do some poles. Oh my mate, once I finish mucking out his stable, and I also spent like ten minutes getting loads of teeny tiny ticks off of him, like the teeny small 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 ticks but he for some reason is really really tasty to them so i've been spending 10 minutes trying to get them off of him so yeah i will leave you guys there i apologize for going quiet but again there's really like <laughs> not much to do i will try and see if i can put in some videos and things that i've got granted they may be off of instagram so if there's like story text i apologize i've really not filmed too much but yeah, if, again, if you want like more rapid updates and you want to stay up to date on everything that goes on every day, follow me on Instagram at MattBayTV and we will see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>